Hey everyone, I'm Ishan and today we will learn how to create a Google Colab instance on GCP. This is something that you will use throughout the semester for all your homework part 2s and possibly the project as well. To begin, go to the homepage of GCP and click on Get Started for free. Once here, select the country as United States and press Agree and Continue. A good thing to note as the page loads is that GCP provides you with $300 in free credits which you can use over a period of three months. Once here, enter any business name, such as CMU for example, and then under payment method, add the credit and debit card details, and then select start for free. Note that this card will start getting charged once your free credits are exhausted. Thus, towards the end of this video, I will also cover a few methods to help you keep a tab on the amount of credits you're using. Once your account is created, the first step would be to activate the full account. This option is only visible after the payment details have been saved successfully. Activate your full account, press on activate. Press continue, and now your account has been fully activated. Now to use Google Cloud for Colab, we go to the search bar and type Colab. Here, select the second option, Colab. Press on launch. Enable all the APIs. This process does tend to take some time. Once the APIs have been enabled, you will be able to see this page, which is where we create our new Colab instances. By default, the GPU quota for new accounts is set to zero, so we will need to increase it before we can start working. To do so, in the search bar, type all quotas. Under filter, scroll down to metric and paste Compute all GPUs. Under this, press the checklist and edit quotas. Set the new limit to one, which should be more than adequate for this course. And under request description, you can write for my deep learning projects, for example, right? That works. Once that is done, press on next. Enter your name and submit request. It does take some time, so wait till the limit is increased to one before proceeding with the next steps. Refresh your page after about a minute or so, and you should be able to see the newly updated limit here. Once that is done, return back to the previous page where you should no longer be able to see the warning that was there before. Enter your custom deployment name, which is by default for lap one, and select a zone. US West one has proved to be particularly reliable for me, so that is what we are going to do in this tutorial. Next. Under machine type, we advise you to use the 26 gigabyte high memory option combined with an NVIDIA T4 GPU. Check the price estimate, which will be based on the configuration that you choose. Note that the more expensive GPUs on Colab aren't necessarily better for your assignments. So be mindful of the credits you have available when choosing your configuration. Next, all we need to do is pretty much click on deploy. This process can again take some time, so don't worry. While you will be able to see if your instance was created successfully as indicated by this green tick mark, based on the availability in the region that you selected. If your instance was not created, unfortunately, repeat the previous steps of setting the configuration while choosing a different region this time. You may have to do this a few times to find a region that works, so don't worry and keep trying till you're successful. Once your instance has been successfully created, press on connect to VM with Colab. This will take us to Google Colab where we click on new notebook. Here, click on the drop down arrow next to the connect button and select connect to a custom GCE VM. The values here are prefetched since we've come directly from Colab, but to get an idea of where these values come from, instance is the instance name for our, con for our setting. Zone is the zone that we selected when creating the Colab instance. And the project name or the project ID can be extracted from the URL of our particular instance. Once here, press on connect. Once it's connected, we can check the resources and should be able to see the almost 26 gigabytes of system RAM, the almost 200 gigabytes of disk space and GPU RAM. To ensure that the GPU has been successfully connected, you can enter the command 
and you can see the GPU resources that are being used. At this point, you're good to go and start training your deep learning models for all your experiments and assignments. Now that you have created your GCP Collab instance, let's go over a few tips for using them. Go to the dashboard, compute engine, VM instances. Always make sure to stop your instance when it is not in use. If you fail to do so, it will keep consuming credits in the background even if nothing is being done on the VM. To do so, select the checkbox and press stop. It does take a few seconds, but once it's stopped, it will only charge you for the persistent disk space, which is not particularly expensive. And similarly, if you wanted to restart your instance, you would click on the checkbox and press start. In addition to this, setting up a budget helps us keep track of our remaining credits. For that, go here and go to billings. In billing, we can then go to credits under cost optimization. And here we are, able, we are able to see the remaining value of credits that we have and the date at which they expire. Next, to set up a budget under cost management, we can click budgets and alerts create a budget, enter a name such as monthly and press next, set the amount for example $100, press next again and the GCP by default lets us set three thresholds or more and by doing so GCP will alert us every time we exceed either the 50, 90 or 100% mark so that we always are aware of how many credits we are using per assignment on a monthly basis just so that we don't exceed or exhaust the units before we anticipated them, and so that we can manage them between the current and future assignments. Once you're done with this, press finish, and your budget is set. Well, that is pretty much all you need to know to create and connect to a collab instance with GCP. Thank you so much for listening.